move on to how West African stock markets close on Tuesday. Let's take a look at activities in Nigeria's fixed income market. Now, further stability is expected at the market and, of course, the money market also following the decision of Nigeria's monetary authorities to leave the key lending rate unchanged at 12 percent and to continue to support the Naira. For an outlook for the market going forward, I'm now being joined by Kingsley Okereke, Treasury and fixed income dealer at Diamond Bank. Thank you so much, Kingsley, for taking the time out to join us. Good morning, Esther. Well, let's start with, of course, you know, you're familiar with the decision taken by the MPC yesterday. Let's start with the interbank market and how that could impact on liquidity conditions at the market. Okay, for the interbank market, I think uh, in the liquidity cycle will ease up a bit. It's been so high in the uh, coming weeks. And uh, for now, with the MPC remaining, uh, the MPC's decision uh, at the levels at which it is, I think um, the interbank market will ease out. Uh, the, uh, we have a lot of maturities going forward. So with the uh, maturities we have going forward, I, I project that we should see rates hovering around 12 to 15% levels, uh, coming from a significant high of 65% levels. Okay, let's, go, let's talk about the Naira. Is it worst over for the local currency? And what shocks, if any, could the Naira encounter in the short term? Well, for the Naira, well, well from coming from weeks of bearishness um, and the Fed effect, so we should see a little bit more uh, value being added, okay, because we've seen good appreciations in weeks in coming trading sessions, of, uh, and with that, I, I foresee that we should remain stable at these levels. So uh, I don't see any shocks. I think the worst is over, and uh, the MPC decision has further supported that. And also, our CBN governor has also reiterated that he would, uh, he would defend the Naira, at not at so much cost, but at least at a good level, which we will see stability. So you're saying that at that time where we saw the central bank intervening directly at the market where it sold the dollars directly to banks, sometimes four times in a week, we're not going to see that perhaps in the short term? Well, you might have it a bit. It might come a bit, you know, but it won't be as frequent as it was in time past because then we have a lot of, we had a lot of things, the external shocks that we had and also the Syria effect also added to that. But, but with now that we've seen that the Fed has started to like, take a foot off the pedal and not to taper, and also the MPC be leaving things stable, I think the market will have a bit of respite. I won't see the Naira under that pressure. And we'll see the levels still sustain that. Okay, talking point. about levels, so the Naira two days ago was at 159.40. We saw it weakening slightly yesterday back to 160. For you, now we've seen the Naira hovering between 160, 161. What, for you, what is that level that you think the CBN or the monetary authorities can comfortably support the Naira at? Well, for, uh, well, for now, I think the Naira should be hovering about 159, 160 levels, and I think it will remain at that level, really. I don't think, I think it's only when it is spiked to about 164 that we will see CBN coming in between 163, 164. But you know, the Lion has been resilient in time past, and the CBN support has also been good to boost confidence, knowing that um, foreign investor has a key eye in our markets. Okay, talking about foreign investors, let's talk about the fixed income market. Now, we've seen uh, in the last couple of weeks, we've actually seen some healthy demand from the local scene, from uh, PFAs, but then we saw foreign investors getting a little nervous or jittery. That was before uh, we got a decision from the FOMC not to uh, taper just yet. Now, what could be the trend or what will be the trend going forward? And could we see yields coming down from 13%? Well, the, the day after the Fed... Um decided not to taper. We saw a two naira sharp movement across board on most bonds, especially the most active bonds. And um, from that point on, it's been an up, uptrend in prices. So I foresee that we've been seeing um, interest, significant interest in that respect. Though a bit, it, it slowed down a bit on Monday because people were just waiting to see the MPC outcome. And now that that is over, I should see that going forward, we should have more keen interest. Already it's already at 13% levels and it might just see dwindle down to sub 13, we're looking at 13.9 to 13.75 levels depending on how the uh, appetite of investors have in this market. Confidence level seems to be high and I, for that I think that it's an uphill swing for now. Do you and, think this, uh, this will be good for us going forward. Do you think forward. this could continue up on the, uh, to the next uh, MPC meeting? Or if there are going to be any shocks, what yes, do you see? Well, it could continue to the next to the um, next MPC, but people might still be have a little bit of caution behind because you know it's not a give and take thing. 
you know, they'll still have a little bit of caution in that respect. But yes, you will see good volumes. You will see significant trades uh, coming in. Besides, I don't think there's nothing to fear. The worst is over. So market is is on a bullish trend for going forward. Okay, let me quickly take you back to the interbank market, looking at uh, automobiles, uh, open market operations, and primary market uh, treasuries that we see the central bank uh, taking, bringing to the market to help mop up liquidity. We haven't seen much of automobiles, but going forward, uh, would we see robust liquidity at the market, and will that cycle continue where we see the you know, funds coming into the market and the CBM mopping up those funds? CBN has shown in time past that um, they are not uh, so comfortable with paying a premium on the OMO, and that is why you've seen various policies surrounding that. But uh, we also have a lot of maturities. Today we have a um, primary market auction today, and we have the usual 91 and 182 days on offer, and we have a, a 124 billion maturing. On OMO, we have 100 billion, which will also, also hit the system. And going forward, we have a lot of maturities, especially in October. So consequently, uh, CBN at some point might decide to come to the market and ease out tensions. But going by previous trends and how high uh, rates have been in the market, they might allow the market to ease up a bit. Then when they see that the market is awash with liquidity, they might come in to take out these funds to create more stability. Okay.